Are you heading off to college or university? Or do you want to just experience Chrome OS for the very first time? Let's unbox and set up the latest model of the Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 714. On the side of our box, it has some of the key details, which include a 14 inch IPS touchscreen and pen supportive display, Intel Core Ultra 5 processor, 512 gigabytes of storage, and eight gigabytes of RAM. Lifting the lid, a simple message appears, instructing you to sign in to your Google account to make it your device. And that is quite simple and easy through the setup process. Before we do the setup process, let's see what we actually get inside our box. So first up is your UK three pin plug. It also comes with a little power brick available to connect in via one of your two USB-C ports that are available on your Chromebook. Offering 65 watts of charging and your battery says it can last for 10 hours. So we'll be definitely checking that out during the review. And then we have our Acer Chromebook Spin 714 itself, which comes in a steel gray finish, which looks really nice, a real sharp, color will suit any home office on the go or even when it's staying at home with you is lightweight and portable so it's only 1.37 kilos meaning that it's easy enough to fit in any tech bag and won't be too heavy then we have our paperwork so quick start guide helpful information and of course your warranty information if you do have any questions though please leave a comment down below as I'm always happy to help so taking a look at our Acer Chromebook and lifting the lid for the very first time and then just removing a little bit of the packaging there to save the keyboard and screen. It automatically boots up into Chrome OS. And for myself, I get to experience the first time of spinning it around. So you can actually use this in multiple different setups. So you've got the keyboard laying flat here. You could just have your screen facing you. Or you can actually set it up in an A-frame option here as well to have it in a tablet viewing mode. And this means it automatically shuts off the keyboard and becomes a tablet. So actually for setting up this video, we're gonna use it in a traditional way. And again, we get to see the Chrome OS boot up and we can go through the setup process. Before we go through a setup process, automatically a screen reader option appears. Able to use an accessibility feature allowing you to navigate throughout your setup process and your device without having to find the accessibility settings in a section, which is really important to see. But I just want to mention, as well as going through the setup process, you're able to jump into an accessibility settings section and able to find a range of different settings that can help and support you during your setup process. So those settings vary from Chrome Vox, which is a spoken voice will now narrate everything for you. A large mouse cursor able to identify where your mouse cursor is and able to see it easily. Color inversion to so change the colors and manipulate the colors to make it a little bit easier to see. Screen magnification so if you don't require spoken feedback for everything on your display you can use a magnifier. Select to speak is again another option where you select the section you want to be spoken to and it will read everything to you. And then finally you have your on-screen keyboard which is a great accessibility feature if it's easier for you to navigate and touch your display because it does have that touch screen ability. So it's great to see all of these accessibility services are available at the very beginning stage of your setup. No need to actually struggle to go through the setup phase. You can select the accessibility feature that's best for you. It's essential to know that not everyone is going to use these settings, but it's nice to have, especially for myself being visually impaired. So then we move into the setup process. So you have welcome. You'll be asked to select a language and a region. You will also be prompted to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You have Wi-Fi 6E available on this device. There's options to scan your Android device, so using the camera and scanning the QR code for a quick setup option. Then you will need to choose to sign in with your Google account. So you can either create an account, you can say forgotten password, and again, you are prompted to sign in via your Android device if you have one. And then of course, we have the great terms and conditions that we need to read through. Highly recommended is to look at your security for any device, wherever you are. If you're at home or traveling, you need to set up different options. So first of all, you'll be asked to set up a pin. Then you can also set up a password for extra level of security, even an option to enhance your security with a fingerprint sensor. So just scan in your fingerprint and that will lock it into the system and then you're able to enjoy your Chromebook, making sure it's safe and secure. With this Chromebook, Google AI is throughout and uses Google Gemini, which I'm looking forward to using. I use this quite a lot as well in my daily work. So it'd be nice to see how this is threaded through the Chrome OS and how it applies in different applications, how I can use it from a day-to-day experience. And then also it's asking again if we want to connect an Android device for an easier and seamless integration. So with our setup now complete, you're introduced to Chrome OS for the first time, or maybe you're returning to Chrome OS. So for me, I've used Chrome OS before, but it is very different to Mac OS and Windows. So it all depends what you prefer. So let me know in the comments below. So I'm really pleased to see that we have a white backlit keyboard, which is always a must have for myself when working late into the night. You've got a large touchpad, which offers a 90% 
clickable area so can't quite click at the far top side of it then looking at our display what we're going to be focusing on all the time so it's 14 inches or 35.6 centimeters it's an LCD cine crystal display with an in-panel switching to an IPS technology which allows for the touchscreen when maneuvered and spun around has a 1920 by 1200 resolution offering 60 Hertz refresh rate then there is one HDMI port one USB a 3.2 gen 2 port two USB type C ports or Thunderbolt 4 then USB C charging which is up to 65 watts and I will be making sure to go through every single detail looking at the Chrome OS checking out all of the key features in my review so make sure if you haven't already to subscribe and you'll be notified when I share that review and this Acer Chromebook plus spin 714 model number which is CP 714-2WN is available now and costs around £700 here in the UK. There will be links in the video description to Acer UK and the best price that I've found during my recording time. Make sure to go and check them out and leave a comment below if you've used a Chromebook before and what I should definitely check out next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video which you can watch right here over to the left hand side and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button over to the right hand side and have a great day.